So we're approximately two months away from the first beta for iOS 18. iOS 18 developer beta one should be available on June 10th, 2024 at WWDC. So in this video, two months before the major update, I want to talk about my personal wish list features for Apple's next major update to the iPhone iOS 18. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is iPhone support for iOS 18. Now, keep in mind, these are going to be predictions based on previous years. Now, in my personal opinion, I think iOS 18 will support any iPhone 11 or newer. So if you have an iPhone 11, iPhone 12, 13 and above, then of course, I think iOS 18 is at an 80 to 100% chance to be supported. If you have an iPhone 10s, 10R, I think you have about a 50-50% chance or probably less for iOS 18 support with the next major update. Now keep in mind that no one really knows, this is just based on my personal opinion, and um, Apple could support every device that supports iOS 17 with iOS 18. I just don't see that happening. I think iPhone 11 is the cutoff. Anything newer than that should get iOS 18 support. Anything below that should be dropping off the list of devices supported for iOS 18. So with that being said, let's talk about my wish list features for iOS 18. And now the first one, I think everyone could agree the iPhone needs a facelift. This icons have looked the same for so many years. Now, obviously, if it's not broken, don't fix it. But it is obvious that many iPhone users want the ability to customize their iPhones as we saw many customize their iPhones when Apple added the ability through shortcuts. I think Apple should add an entire theme store where users can just buy themes and apply them with one single click. I think, I think it's time for Apple to allow somewhat of a customization for the home screen, even the icons, perhaps even the fonts. Now, let me show you this iPhone XS is running iOS 14, and I can theme these icons with just one click, and this iPhone has not even a stutter when I do this. So let me show you here. I can go into Snowboard, Enable Snowboard, and take a look at my icons. Automatically themed with one single click. I think uh, many iPhone users would like this. You can download themes from anything you want, go to the actual themes, apply the themes, and there you go. You'll be able to customize your iPhone without having to download any wallpapers or custom packs for icons and things of that nature. Just a one single click. You can buy your theme, apply it. And I think many iPhone users would want this. I want this myself. So in terms of UI changes, I think customization should be key with iOS 18 in order to keep things fresh, at least give users the ability to customize. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is something in related to AirPods. Now, AirPods do get their own section in settings. When you pop them open, you get a lot of information in regards to your AirPods, the latest firmware update for the AirPods and things of that nature. But there's one thing missing from this entire list, and that is the ability to manually check for any new updates on your AirPods, I think it's time for Apple to add an update option where you can check manually just like you can on iPhone, right? So if we go into general and we go into software update, we can check for software updates for the iPhone, obviously. Well, this would be great for AirPods as well, in my opinion, because every time there's a new AirPods update, a lot of users are asking, how do I update my AirPods? And yes, this typically happens in the background, but I think it would be best if Apple would add a button where you can click and check for updates for AirPods pots themselves as well. Now, something else that's been on my wish list for a couple of years now is the ability to add different size widgets to the home screen of iPhone and perhaps even toggles to the home screen of iPhone. As you can see right here, I have different size widgets on this screenshot. If I go to my home screen here, you see that I have a toggle widget on the home screen, which I can enable or disable Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, airplane mode, data, and things of that nature. So yeah, I think the ability to have more customizations and more options for widgets will be a great option for iOS 18 in terms of customizing the widgets for the home screen. Now, something else that I've been asking for for years is to have the iPad switcher on the iPhone, or at least the option to have an iPad switcher on the iPhone, something like this. So for example, you can go into settings on your iPhone and choose from the standard app switcher that we currently have, 
or choose an iPad switcher for your iPhone. And this is what it would look like if you had this on your iPhone. You can use it with one hand, swipe apps away. You actually see more of your apps this way. And I think it would be a welcome addition and a welcome change to the app switcher of iPhone if we can just get that iPad switcher directly on the iPhone or at least a second option as an app switcher. Let me know what you think about these two options. Now, last but not least, I want to talk about the lock screen and I would hope for Apple to add a better lock screen management with iOS 18. So right now I have at least 30 different wallpapers and setups on my lock screen, as you can see right here. Now, in order to delete these, I would have to swipe up individually and delete them manually. And it's just a long drawn out process. I think having a different way to manage this will be ideal. I'm sure most of you guys probably already have at least 10 to 15 to 20 different lock screen setups and having a grid view for the lock screen to manage those wallpapers and setups I think would be ideal for iOS 18 and to update the lock screen of iPhone. And of course, I've always asked for Apple to add the ability to customize the shortcuts. So these options at the bottom of the screen. So right now, obviously, if we go into the lock screen of iPhone, we have two options. We have the flash and the camera. Wouldn't it be nice if you can just customize that to whatever you wish, where you can just long press and select maybe notes or do not disturb or maybe even a focus mode option i think customizing the lock screen slightly or changing things slightly on the lock screen will give ios 18 a nice boost and a lot of users will agree that it needs a little bit of work especially with that wallpaper management system i think this grid view will go well let me know what you think about ios 18 features wish list in this video is there something you would like to see apple to add let me know in those comments down below thank you for watching this one and i'll see you guys on the next one peace